A pathologist has told the coroner it's possible an Auckland man found dead in a water drum in a Samoan prison was forcefully put there. Hans Christopher Dalton was found half submerged in a 44-gallon drum of water in his Tafainata prison cell on Boxing Day in 2012. Six years later, an inquest is being held in Auckland to determine the facts of his death. Our court reporter Annika Smith was there. Hans Dalton had been on holiday with his family in Samoa when they were caught in Cyclone Evan. He had been a psychiatric patient but lost his medication in the natural disaster before having an episode. Officials put the 38-year-old in a prison cell for his own safety, but he was found dead the following morning. Samoan authorities charged another inmate with murder, but he was later cleared. Since then, they've provided little information about Mr Dalton's death. Sergeant Heather Riddell of the New Zealand Police told the court that authorities here had no control over that. We have no legal jurisdiction with Samoa, however we do have the ability to liaise and I made inquiries and received, like similar to the coroner, um, no response. I went through Interpol and also went um, through Mr Udu and, and uh, another officer and could not get any information. Coroner Ryan said all that had materialised from repeated attempts to retrieve reports over the past six years was a document on an inquiry into the prison. Its findings were critical about how the prison was run and the care it provided. The coroner acknowledged there was little reliable information about what happened to Mr Dalton, but said the inquest would still proceed. This morning the court heard from Dr Kate White, the pathologist who flew to Samoa to conduct a post-mortem before Mr Dalton was repatriated. Describing his injuries, she noted bruises and abrasions on his face, abdomen and back, some of which couldn't be explained. These and some of the other injuries are not characteristic of injuries sustained in a fall or in the course of usual restraint. I can't tell you how they occurred, but... I'm happy to say that I don't believe they've occurred in the course of a normal fall or stumble or in usual restraint. She found his cause of death to be drowning and she also found Mr Dalton had a heart condition which would have made him more susceptible to drowning. My personal preference is to think that he has drowned and his coronary artery disease has potentially contributed to that. He may have died earlier in his drowning sequence because of his coronary artery disease. But Dr White said it was unclear how he ended up in the water drum. She concurred with Christopher Gudsell QC, the lawyer assisting the coroner, that it was more likely he had been forcibly put in the drum. The inquest, which we'll hear from Mr Dalton's mother and medical professionals who treated him, is set down for three days. For Checkpoint, this is Annika Smith.